Hey what's up guys, it's XX Modern Warfare, Gamer Tab Land for Chicken and in this video we are looking at Link again. Just Freestyle Dash's uh, new system link feature lets you system link online with other people. Um, my last video I showed uh, you how to install the beta update so that you can use Link. Um, but since then, well I said I was going to make a video, make this video on how to pass all the port checks and stuff. So this is me making this video, and I have also had some comments of people saying that they're having problems with the ports as well. So in this video we're going to be looking obviously at the networking side and how to get uh, Link passing or, uh, this uh, settings or port checks uh, when you verify Link settings in plugin settings on Freestyle Dash. You want all this stuff to pass. At the moment you can see UPMP enable routers not found, the po both ports have failed and the JQE360 authentication has failed so in this video we're going to show you how to make all of that stuff hopefully pass all the checks and then you'll be able to connect to people okay and you'll be able to host games and yeah you'll be able to use Link properly. Okay so the number one thing you must do first is go into Dash Launch, go into the Network tab and make sure Ping Patch and DevLink is enabled. When they're enabled save the settings to the launch.ini. Okay, first off, uh, we're going to have to make a JQE360 account. So to do this, and this is vital, you must make an account uh, with um, JQE in order for it to work, in order to get Link to work. So go to your internet browser and go to www.jqe360.com and it'll take you to this website. Many people have been here before, probably. Uh, so you're going to have to make an account, so just here you click register free and then you just enter name, a username, email address, password, retype the password, enter the verification code and register. And then they'll send you an email to activate your account, you just click the link to activate your account and then that's it, done. So that's all you've got to do and then once you've done it, maybe just log in to be sure it's, um, it's worked and it's created the account and you can even kind of use link um, using this uh, I'm currently uh, I don't have my Xbox on right this moment so it's not showing up but um, yeah you can also use link on JQE's website as well as using it on the Xbox just to join rooms and create rooms and stuff so you can use uh, this website for it. so uh, okay next thing you have to do is link JQE to your Xbox. So you've got to type in the username and password onto your Xbox. Okay, so on Freestyle Dash, you need to go to settings, then general settings, then jqe360.com. Now in there you want to enter the username that you registered on jqe360.com and the password that you registered with on jqe360.com and once you've done that you then want to click the link console to jqe360. Then do another port check and make sure the authentication passes. If it doesn't you've obviously entered the wrong uh, username and password or uh, if it doesn't link you to jqe360.com like it says the server's down or it doesn't manage to reach doesn't manage to contact the jqe360 server then um, don't worry about that because what I'll be showing you next on forwarding your ports should hopefully fix that issue. Okay so to forward your ports which is the next thing you're going to have to do in order to pass the port checks on Freestyle Dash. So what you want to do is go to your internet browser, type in your default gateway into your internet browser, well into your address bar on your internet browser. If you don't know what your default gateway is, go to the command prompt which you can access by typing in CMD in the search bar or going to start all programs, accessories, uh, command prompt. So when you have the command prompt open, type in ipconfig and down the bottom here you'll see default gateway 192.168.0.1 it may be a different um, address for the default gateway that you have on your router 
um, on your network so um, just enter the address that you have for the default gateway into your address bar here so I've typed in mine and log on to your router if you don't know the login information for your router then find out from whoever manages your network or uh, if it's still using the default username and passwords then just look it up on the internet uh, what the defaults are okay so first off we need to go to services and it may on other routers it may be called um, port forwarding um, but uh, I'm not sure what else it would be called but it's usually inside the security section of your router um, anything to do with security it should be around here so go to add a custom service the name you want uh, link one uh, TCP slash UDP. Uh, if your router doesn't have TCP slash UDP option, then forward the port once for UDP and forward it forward it again for TCP, and um, that will be the equivalent to having TCP slash UDP. So go for 3071 as your start port and 3071 for your finish port, because those are the two ports that XPS no, uh, those are the two ports that link is uh, using unless you change them in freestyle dash which I don't recommend I would recommend you just use the default ones that are there which are 3071 and 3072 so um, yeah but if you have changed them then enter the, the new port that you've uh, changed it to in here so apply then add another custom service for the second port um, the same again except you put 3072 in the start port and 3072 in the finish port apply and that's it done basically that's port forwarding finished but um, yeah anyway go to freestyle dash after you've done this and test your ports um, if they're still failing then you want to go back to your security section and have a look for firewall rules or firewall um, in your security section click on it if you do have one and um, you should see inbound services or outbound services or something similar and you want to basically add an outbound service and you want to find link make sure it's not blocking it so make sure you allow it um, put in a single address or an address range and the IP address that you want is your the one that your Xbox is using. So mine was uh, 192.168.0.4. Make sure you never log as well. So that's the IP address I put in here. Add another outbound service. This time for the, the second port that the link uses, which is um, 3072. Where is it? Here it is. Uh, allow always again a uh, single address or an address range um, so I never log so it has to be the IP address of your Xbox that you're putting in here or it most likely won't work um, you may be used to putting the IP address of your computer in because that's what you have to do for Xlink Kai and XBS Link, but on um, on Link uh, you need to use the Xbox 360's IP. So then you want to do the same on inbound services. Uh, it will most likely not give you an address range option on um, inbound services. Maybe it will, but I know most routers don't. Uh, so put in your Xbox IP address never log, apply and add another one this time for the second link port allow always oops that's a fail 192.168.0.4 and never log ok so that should be it uh, I should also say um, if you have your network set up on a network bridge 
um, which most people won't have but if you have set your network up that way with your Xbox uh, connected to your computer and you're using a network bridge then you should try and enter the IP address of your computer into the firewall rules, not the IP address of your Xbox. But in any other connect, uh, network setup, apart from connection sharing, um, if you're just if you just got your Xbox connected to your computer, uh, no, if you just have your Xbox connected to your router uh, with an Ethernet or wireless, uh, then you put your Xbox 360's IP address. Um, into the firewall rules section. So now you should find that the ports pass. Um, if they don't, then restart your uh, computer. Uh, no, sorry, restart your Xbox and um, check, make sure they're working. If they're still not working, then go down, look on your router, and see if you have any options that say UPnP. If you do, then make sure it's turned on, apply, and um, you refresh you should see some if you have a you should have a port map table and um, actually it doesn't really matter but just make sure that UPnP is turned on so that is basically all you can do on your router and then you should now pass the port so I'll go back onto the Xbox and show you what happens once you've made these changes okay so now let's test, so we'll go back to settings and plugin settings and as you see here this enable UPN people port mapping uh, if you did everything I said about the router settings that doesn't matter if it's checked or unchecked so if things aren't working for you try testing it with it checked and try che testing it with it unchecked so as you can see here instantly enable router was found ports all pass, authentication passes and with all that passing that basically says you know there's nothing wrong with your um, network whatsoever you should be able to connect now no problem um, so that's basically it guys so um, if you just go on a game you should see lots of users showing up and you'll be able to join people's games just make sure you're on the same title update as everybody else that's the one big thing that people kind of mistaken for you know is it my network is it my link not working when it is actually working it's just you're not on the same title update as everybody else you're not as up to date on your TU updates so um, yeah apart from that that should be it um, let me know if you have any more problems guys just message me down below in the comment section uh, I'll try and help you out best you can I don't know everything so I mean I'll just uh, I'll try and help you guys anyway, so thanks for watching and um, please rate, comment and subscribe, really appreciate it.